Hello and welcome to 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and today we're going to be playing some more Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle DLC for the Donkey Kong Adventure. <laughs> A really long title, almost fainted in the middle there, but it is excellent uh, additional content for... A really fun tactical game and this was donated to me by a regular injured gamer 1985 so thanks again IG I don't know if he'll be in the stream today but I hope that he catches this at some point because it is good cranky I love that there's a cranky rabbit and he rides around on uh, what's that guy's name bleepo or something like that something like that and his uh, his walking stick is actually an explosive crossbow that's excellent. All right, we got a bunch of people in here already. Let's take a look. We got Parker Johnson. Steve Austin has come back on Mixer. Welcome back, Steve. Android 17 here again, right as he get off, gets off work. Perfect. Great timing. Good to see you. Starlink is here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Steve says, this is going to be fun. Yeah, I hope so. I always have a good time with this game. Um... Android was confirming my test. Yeah, I was testing the, the Facebook chat, so it, it's it's now integrated into my restream as it should be, so I don't have to have it open anymore. Starlink says, thank goodness my phone is waterproof or I wouldn't be here. Oh, did you just drop it in the toilet or something? <laughs> it says this DLC is actually good. It is. It's totally good. I think I'm heading out this way. I think that's where I'm supposed to be going. The Magnet Groove Technique, followed by the Ground Pound Attack, is a powerful combo. Yes, one that I have used already. It was effective. Man, it's really unfortunate there's this spot on the ground directly underneath me that just squeaks every time I shift my weight. Because I shift my weight a lot. I'm always moving. Anytime I'm doing a stream where I'm standing at my desk... I'm just moving all the time, and I end up stepping on that squeak spot like a thousand times. If I happen to be silent at the time, it sounds like... And that's no good. Steve, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be streaming Smash later on. Sorry, bud. Not today, but I will be someday. So keep your alerts on. Okay, wait. So what, what's this way? Is this where I just came from? Or is this where I'm going? This looks new. Yeah, this is probably where I'm going then. How's the volume? Is the game loud enough? Make sure you guys can hear it all. I see. Oh. I see what's happening now. There's a puzzle to solve. I'm gonna guess it has a little something to do with this. Yep, I think we got it. -da 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 -da. Oh, wait, one more. Close. Oh, we're like stuck now. Oh, we locked ourselves out. Can I jump off the edge from up here? No, that would make sense. Oh, I can go around the back. One more. Okay, so if one more, then I do that. I was so confident. So confident. Unnecessarily so. Woink, woink. I had the right idea. I was almost there. There we go. Now we got it for real. Parker says, this is a good crossover game. I don't have the DLC yet, but I heard it's good. Yeah, we're playing it right now. It is good. Uh, two new characters with Cranky, Rabid, Rabid, Cranky. I forget the order of the title there. Oh, a puzzle piece. Sweet. Classic. Is he boxing? He could really use a training montage right now. Ah, funny. Another battle ahead. Let's do it. All we gotta do is reach an area, huh? Okay. 
Should be doable. Wait, there's honey spots in the ground or honey's just dropping all the time? Honey bird bombing run. Are you sure that the bird is dropping honey? See that shelter? If we can reach it, we'll be safe from their sweet and sticky salvo. Gross. Let's spread out to avoid becoming a honey-drizzled hero cluster. Also, help each other to keep everyone honey-free. I see. Well, we'll also, uh, if they're near each other, then they can unstick each other as long as one of them has that ability and isn't honeyed. Starling says, just eat more vegetables and the creaking will stop. Yeah. Volume's a little quiet. Okay, I'll turn it up. How? Wow, it does seem quite quiet. I really turned it up a lot. Hopefully that's better. Styling says, will you stream RE2? I hear it's pretty PG. <laughs> sure is. Uh, no, I don't think I'll be getting it. I'm on a tight budget now, so I'm going to be uh, streaming a lot more games in February that were donated from folks from various fans. Where does this take me? So Donkey Kong is like the only one that can go straight up there. Yeah, nobody else can like travel up that high. It's from the green thing, right? Must be. Okay, so how do we want to do this? He's got, yeah, he's got something special where he lands. Yeah, and it, like, freezes him or some such. I think I'm gonna go here. <gasps> Frozen, and now... I can hit him hard. Boom! You toast, boy! And if we would like... Why not? Turn on Stink Eye. Let's see, who should go next? Collect those bananas quick. Hmm. Where's that Tacticam? Where are all the other dudes around here? One hiding over there. One hiding over here. There's not all that many. We just have to look out for all the honey, I think. I guess that guy's somewhat close. Okay, I guess we'll put you here then. Nothing exciting, but there it is. Heal to heal. We don't need either of those things. Oh, we could do maybe this. That'll get him. Oops. Can't quite reach him this turn. I can only reach this one guy, so go for it. Oh, that's right, it's a hammerhead shark. Cool. Boom! Oh, and he got honeyed, so he can't go anywhere. That was great. Steve Austin says, Burb! Starling says, okay, so I get that you won't tell me when you play Smash, but is it possible that you will play when it is 1.30 a.m.? impossible right because that's my normal time i think so what are you you're six hours ahead right so yeah that would be 7 30 yeah that's usually when i would play yes it is quite possible that it would be streamed at 1 30 a.m it's not that i won't tell you it's that i honestly don't know that's that's what it is i have no idea when i shall next be streaming it I can go there. Seems like a decent place for me to be. I forget his, it's like a weird dandelion swing. If I do this. Give me that magnet groove. That's right. Oh! Interesting. Pushed out of bounds. 
However, I think I also shot Donkey Kong. Oh, he's hardly hurt. He's fine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do this normal thing. Bounced into oblivion. I think we're good. Enemy turn. Alright, let's see what honey bombs await. As I suspected, it is all the spots on the ground that have the little, like, dribbles everywhere. What you gonna do? Ah, Overwatch mode. J.E. says, I'm wondering if they're going to release Unbreakable Split and Glass as a trilogy box set. Because I would not be surprised if they did do that. No, I think that makes perfect sense. I think they will. I heard that Glass wasn't as good as people were hoping. And that's too bad. Starlink says, play Smash every stream. Make the stream six hours long, and you'll get those 4,000 view hours in no time. Yeah, you're probably not wrong about that. But six hour streams is how I hurt my back. Really messed up my back two summers ago, and I've been paying for it for over a year. It's getting better, but it's not like it was before that happened, so six hour streams are probably not going to happen anymore. So if I go here, I'm probably gonna trigger that guy, so don't want that. Might trigger him there too, though. So it may just be what it is. Maybe we should activate the shield first. Let's do that. Then if he shoots at me, it won't be such a big deal. Yeah, he hardly touched me. Bada bing! If I could have slid through those guys, that would have been helpful. So Donkey Kong, are you stuck? Who's stuck? Cranky's stuck. I don't think he can shoot anybody. There's nothing you can do, pal. You've messed it up for yourself. Sorry, Cranky. Alright, so I think I can pick this guy up and chuck him at this other guy. Yeah, perfect. And then I think they're both toast after that. Well, one right away, the other is about to become toast because this. Boom! Golden shot. Nice. Yeah, why not? Turn on the hairy eye. That's a, just a weird image. A hairy eye. Ugh, makes me uncomfortable. Parker says, Jay did six hour streams. Whoa, he is already a jetpack man. I did. I did. I, I did them like all summer long one year. And uh, I was streaming through all of the Metroid Prime games and Earthbound and Mother 3, which is a sequel to Earthbound, if you did not know that. Earthbound is technically Mother 2. So yes, I did do six-hour streams, and they were fun, but they hurt. At first I was fine, and then eventually... My back just got worse and worse and worse, and it has never been the same since. So, too bad. Nobody's in range. Okay. So who can and cannot move? Looks like my whole team is good. So I'm going to slide through him. Come up here and do what any differently? Really nothing, I think. But we'll come up here anyway. 
Now his shield is off. So is it better to shoot him, or is it better to hit him with this? Looks like it's better to shoot him. Boom, and he's honeyed. Chuck this block right on him. Boom, and now he's gone too. <laughs> It's a very fun tactical game, but it doesn't seem like it's all that hard. Although the final Bowser was kind of hard. Can I say final Bowser? Final boss. Well. Okay, I think that's all we can really do. Donkey Kong might be globbed. Yeah. Oh well. He's in a good spot, I think. Starlink says, just stand all plain, or just sit straight. What do you mean, sit straight? That's what every teacher says to me. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter, because I spend all day, every day, sitting down, and that's what hurt my back, and then doing another six hours of it without getting up and moving around. Now, the standing desk could help, and that's why I got it. So that I wasn't sitting every time I stream. But I still don't think it's going to be a good idea for me. I want to have this back for another 60 years, you know? Like, I don't I don't want to have it get worse. So I got to take good care of it now before it's too late to do anything about it. All right, launch me. Is he in Overwatch mode? Probably. Oh! Can't use my specials. I'm gonna go for this guy because I think that explosion is really gonna hurt him. That box right next to him is gonna go off too. Oh! Pushed. He's got honey. He's in a bad way. Speaking of in a bad way, Cranky! Oh, you're so ineffectual right now. I need you to get somewhere useful, buddy. Can I lob a football at him? Nothing. Ah, rough. What about you, Donkey Kong? Nothing. We're out of luck. J.E. says, did you ever hear the story of someone breaking into a Five Guys fast food restaurant and making themselves a burger? I don't think that burger was worth going to jail or prison for. <laughs> no. No, I don't think that would be worth it at all. Oh, twice in a row. That's not fair. Super not fair. Oh, no. Is she okay? It looks like she's going to be okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, vicious. Extremely vicious. Wow, that that did a number. So, first of all, let's get her to use her healing abilities. Everyone needs a little bit, so that's perfect. Zip over here. And I don't know. Stand here. You. What if I go like this? Can I get both of them? I don't think that I can. Somebody coming in here. Who is that? Tacticam. This is another hopper, huh? Okay. Boom! 
And 70. Oh, he's toast. Mwahaha. Donkey Kong is actually... Yes, going into that mode. Donkey Kong has been freed up from being honeyed. Kind of nice. Oh yeah, I can pick him up. Yes, and throw him at that guy. Oh, this is great. You can pull him right out of the ground. That's such a great mechanic. And now, I think I can hurt both of them. Oh, but not destroy. That's too bad. Use all that's left. All right, next turn. Starling says that moment when you ask for no pickles, but they put extra on. Oh, why would you ever ask for no pickles? That's my question. Pickles are amazing. They're amazing. Parker says, Jane, just get a rocket back. Come on, man. It's a fair point. Well, if he didn't have that shield, he would have been toast. So he made a good choice putting that shield on. I just wish I had the... There's a double stink eye. I wish I had that. How dare you? Oh, man. They're all going for cranky. Woof. If I'm not honeyed this round, then they're in for a rude realization. I am honeyed. Does she have the ability where she heals them? I hope so. There's no super, but that's it. Okay, that's not so bad. Just shoot one of them and take them out. That's the one. Oh, I should have tried to trip him first. What was I thinking? Ah, oh, no! Can I attract them to me? Let's give it a shot. Kinda. But it didn't help. Can I put him to sleep? I hope so. Good. If you shoot him now, he comes awake again, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let him lay. You know what they say about them sleeping dogs. Please don't honey me again. Okay, Donkey Kong, but nobody else. Could be worse. She needs her abilities back. Parker says, up oh, under my bad. Starling says, pickles are good raw. What do you mean raw? I don't think there's such thing as a raw pickle. Pickle is a cucumber that has been, well, pickled. So can I? Yes. What does it get me? How about this? She's gonna trip him. Oh, and do a lot of damage. And then she's gonna come back up this way. Go in here. Oh yeah. This is the plan. Gotcha. Man, your movement is so powerful in this game. Oh, why didn't I try and trip that guy? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because he's toast anyway. Gotcha. I 
I don't think there's any more enemies, but hey, I'll put a shield on anyway. Now, are you going to take him out with a trip? You're not. You're really not, huh? Alright. We'll do that. He's old, and he cannot move much. Just in case, we'll put him on high alert mode. Please don't pickle the... Oh, I got him. Right what I didn't want. Okay, but Donkey Kong is free, so... Where does that leave him? Oh, just so close. Let's see, somewhere that Cranky can get. Right about there ought to be good. Looks like the game is too loud now, so I turned it down a little bit. Can she? Yes, she can. And she will. Nice. Now he should be able to do the little slide through him thing. Perfect. And that's far enough. Why was that like a special animation? We didn't just win. We're totally safe now. They're nowhere near us. <laughs> J.E. says, I was the idiot as a child who thought pickles were frogs. I was a stupid kid. Uh, all kids are stupid. But that's funny. Parker says, Jay, have you heard of the Final Fantasy 3 grinding trick? No. And which, which version of Final Fantasy 3 are you talking about? You're talking about the one that was on DS? The remake where it's in 3D? That one? Because I'd be interested in hearing that. I like that game a lot. There is a chance that someday I'll be playing that on stream. So, yeah. I would be interested in hearing that. There you go, Donkey Kong. Yeah! Starlink says, I love pickles, just not in my McDonald's Quarter Pounder. Oh, why not? So good. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. Nine out of seven. Nine out of seven what? Turns? Oh, well. I was focusing pretty hard on destroying everyone on my path, wasn't I? Resistance is futile. I know that was technically not the goal. Ah, Parker is talking about the original version of Final Fantasy III. Oh, so, now I have a follow-up question. When you say Final Fantasy III, do you mean the U.S. version of Final Fantasy III, which is actually Final Fantasy VI? Like the one that's on, uh, the SNES Classic? Final Fantasy III U.S., a.k.a. Final Fantasy VI. Because the original Final Fantasy III was actually an NES game. And then Final Fantasy IV was the first Final Fantasy on Super Nintendo. And then five and six were also on Super Nintendo. But in America, we didn't get Final Fantasy II or three or five. So we had Final Fantasy on NES, and then we had Final Fantasy II on Super Nintendo, which was actually four. And then we had Final Fantasy III, which was actually Final Fantasy VI on Super Nintendo. Yeah, it was his name, Beepo. I think I called him Bleepo, though. It's close. But not quite. You gotta get all them bananas. J.E. says, I wonder what cooked frog tastes like. And that's a thing. Frog legs, right? It's a classic, fancy, I think, French dish. 
you know, and people often used to do crank calls. Do you have frog legs? Lel, lel, lel. And uh, I don't have any interest in eating frog legs. But the point remains that people do eat them. So they must enjoy them. Styling says, I take away the mustard and pickles, but add the bacon to my quarter pounder. Man, and you get rid of mustard? Ah, oh, you just don't like the tart elements, huh? Ah, oh, it's so good. The acidity in there. Delicious. Two totems. They look menacing, but I detect they hold the solution to the riddle of the closed gate. Hmm, it's almost like I should be setting him according to that. Is there anything else to explore before we do this little puzzle here? Yaha! Yes, but I can't do it. Let's see. Ah, Ragnafighter is back. That's been a long time. How you doing, Ragnafighter? He says, hey, Jay, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Jay, he says, Final Fantasy V Advance. Yay or nay? I think all the Final Fantasy games on Advance, on Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, definite thumbs up. Go for it. Starlink says, I never played that, John Early. Parker says, um, I used the PC emulated for the SNES Final Fantasy 3, and I'm in the US, and I don't know what you mean by American Final Fantasy, but I have it. Most likely we're talking about Final Fantasy 6 here. Because if it's for Super Nintendo, then it's nothing earlier than Final Fantasy 4. And if you're calling it Final Fantasy 3, then it's probably Final Fantasy 6. Just throwing that out there. It's a weird history, but yeah, RPGs weren't real popular in America, so we didn't get all of them. Final Fantasy did good, but I don't know. For whatever reason, they decided not to bring over the immediate follow-up. Maybe because in America, it might have been too close to when the Genesis was coming out, and maybe all the sales were kind of going towards a 16-bit generation. Not sure. Could be the case. Okay, so let's see. Do not do the hat plus the squiggles. It looks like the Midna hat. That's what I'm calling it that. But then there's the eyes next to the hat. Not sure what they're getting at here. I'm just going to hit these buttons and see what they do. Gotcha. The first one needs what? Needs to not have that hat on top, which is that thing. Hat plus squiggle. Who's got a squiggle? The squiggle's in the bottom. Hat plus squiggle equals no. Ah, I see, and on this side there's also the hat and the squiggle. Okay, can't have two of those open mouths of the tongues. They want the... these eyes, but you can't have that with this mouth. There it is! ba -na -na -na. There's more to do the placard there. We'd best investigate. But how, wasn't it? No fire. Didn't we start with no fire? And one way we got to no fire was by having the hat and the squiggle mouths. Was it these eyes?
do not have. So is it these eyes? So one of them needs to have... this other mouth. just these on the right, so maybe I need to have different eyes. Okay, I see what we gotta do here. Squiggle mouth on this side. Oops, I wanted to keep those eyes. Ugh, and that hat. That's the one. There we go. What's in the gold? Oh, it's taking us somewhere. I thought you'd open it up, but I should have thought about that. Parker says, I'll ask my dad. Ragnifighter says, got enough money for a Switch game. Any recommendations? Ooh, well, yes. What sort of games do you like, and what do you already have? Wait, I'm being timed? What's happening? Do, 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 do. Oh, interesting. But what is happening? Now it's more clear, but I'm still very confused. There it is. Okay, hopefully I can do that again, because it took a minute to realize what that even was. J.E. says, Summit Cola from Aldi's is probably too sweet for your 5J, but I have nothing else to compare the taste to. I don't think that any soda is too sweet for me. Whether or not I like the taste is one thing, but I wouldn't say too sweet is something that I typically classify a soda that I don't like as being. Go, go, go. Almost there. Sweet. What's in it? Something good. Give me something good. Oh, of course she's going to do a selfie. Oh, now she has a stick. Now she's got a selfie stick. Of course she does. The Goliath grouper. Foes who find this on the end of their line realize that the catch of the day is pain, thanks to this remorseless beast from the abyss. Nice, so it's a bomb for uh, whatever her name is again. Rabid Peach, that's what it is. Starlink's phone's dying. All right, see you, dude, thanks for hanging out. Ragnifighter says, I'm into some action, something fun and exciting, but I basically play anything. So anything seems fine. Well, what about this game? Because this game is excellent. You're already looking at it. Um, other games. Let's take a look. Valkyria Chronicles. Great game. Another tactical game, though. Uh, Super Smash Bros., of course. Arcade game uh, that's been totally redone. Very fun action game. Toki. I think it's pretty cheap. Digitally. I got a special physical edition that was not as cheap. Good stuff. Um, I like Paladins. That's free. You don't have to spend any money on that. Ukulele was okay. Messenger was okay so far, but I didn't beat it yet. 
Monster Boy is pretty good. Genesis Collection, that's good stuff. Hollow Knight, very good Metroidvania style game. Road Redemption, uh, basically Road Rash, if you ever played that. Motorcycle Racing plus Combat, super good. Uh, Mega Man 11, really, really good. Gotta, gotta check that out. Again, more retro collections, very good. Super Mario Odyssey, very good. This is um, basically a Metroid game. It's called a robot named Fight, um, and it's a roguelite. So every time you play, it's all like randomly generated. So it's like an endless Metroid game. You should definitely check that out. Um, flashbacks, good stuff. Starlink. Good stuff. Beat em up bundle. Oh, I love Mega Man X. So having those collections is great. Ooh, uh, a strategy game, Into the Breach. Seriously incredible. So, so good. Um, think kind of like Advance Wars, but it has twists to it. And it seems really simple, but there's, uh, there's these considerations you have to keep in mind. And it ends up being, being pretty tough, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, so Into the Breach, definitely a big recommendation. I like Harvest Moon, Light of Hope. The art's not great, but the gameplay is a lot of fun. It's uh, what Stardew Valley is based on, but it doesn't have any combat. It's just farming and social simulator kind of stuff. Um, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, amazing platformer. Uh, Doom, oh, so good. I love Doom so much. Shovel Knight, excellent. Axiom Verge, another Metroidvania. Very Metroid-like uh, in sort of the 18 or 8-bit style. 18. Whew. Yeah, there's lots of great games. I'm skipping so many. Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap, super good. Steam World Dig 2. Oh, yeah. Definitely got to try that. Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Steam World Heist. Both great games. Stardew Valley. Golf Story. There's so many good games, man. So, so many. So I'll, I'll keep it at that, but you've got like 50 recommendations there. <laughs> J.E. says, Summit Cola has 27 grams of sugar. I don't remember if that's unusually sugared or not. I think it doesn't sound like it's all that much more than like a Coke or something, but I don't remember. It's not that I don't like old, the, you know, full sugar colas anymore. It's just that I need to not have the calories in the sugar, so I've switched to these Zevias that have zero sugar and calories. And they're good enough for me. They still taste like a cola. They do not taste like LaCroix, which is not great. I do not love LaCroix. Never have, never will. They were fine. But they were never great. Let's see. I think I got a plan for how I can get that area open. Yeah, there we go. Oof, we're gonna have to do this a few times. Best way to do this. There's one. Okay, now what? We could either do red or red. We either move the blue or we move the green. I think I have to move both of them regardless, so... I'm gonna redo blue, because that's gonna be the easiest to do over again. Now we'll see if we can get green going. Green. What 
It was red, right? Yeah, no, this is gonna work. More Zelda puzzles. Ah, uh, Luke's back. What's up, Luke? Now the man says, I like how you skipped over Butcher. Butcher's fun. No, I, I skipped over a bunch of games. Butcher's a fun game. Absolutely. Tough, but it's good. Um, Parker says, now this is a game review. Nice. Ragnifier says, I might get Hollow Knight because so many people saying it's good. It is. It's another Metroidvania game. Um, has a really fun um, mechanic where you can heal yourself at any time. But the only way that you can do it is by building up energy that you get from hitting enemies. So, if you're really bad at hitting enemies, you're never going to be able to heal yourself. And then you're just going to die a lot. So you got to be good at hitting enemies and not getting hit. At first, it's not very difficult, but you end up facing more and more enemies that challenge you, and you go, ah, it's killing me. There's really good boss battles, too. Uh, the exploration is a little on the unfair side. There's, it gives you, like, no tools up front, and you have to... Um, <laughs> You have to, like, buy every little nicety, like, at first your map, first you don't have a map, then, after you get a map, it won't fill itself in. You have to get, uh, buy something that will fill in a map for you. And then, it won't fill it in while you're traveling, it only will fill in the map after you, like, rest at a bench. So it's like, not essential things that they've, you know, kind of made difficult for you. It's things that would make it easier. So, like, they're just making sure that you're really earning your way to the end. And you do, and you feel accomplished. I have not got to the end, though, if that sounded like I did. But I've beaten a couple of bosses now, and it's cool. Luke says, you should do, you should do a stream of all your Switch games, lol, like, of each game that I have not feasible like just like showing the list of them because that just happened but playing each of them that's not really gonna be feasible too many it spend 60 seconds just getting into each game and i have to switch to the next one because i have over 100 it's, it's not a small number of games And then says, my flagship soda is Fanta Soda. Fanta Orange. Fanta is so good. Fanta Orange. I even like Fanta Grape, and they have Fanta Strawberry, don't they? I like them all. Give me all the Fantas. Now the Bam says the sales dipped when they changed the taste, so they quickly changed it back. Were they trying to go the healthy route, and then people didn't like it? Because <laughs> I feel like that happens sometimes. Luke says, how many games do you have on your Switch? I don't have a count. I'll have to try and count them sometime. It's a lot. JE says, 5J, you should buy Soda Stream. I have one, actually. Basically, it's something that allows you to make your own cola, and they have reusable bottles, too, so you're not cluttering up the environment with plastic. Yeah, or aluminum, because I'm, I'm mostly using cans. Yeah, um, we have a Soda Stream, but at the time, the, there weren't a lot of great um, syrups for it. And, by the way, using the term syrup always makes it sound like it's full of actual syrup. And they mostly were. But recently, I just, out of curiosity, browsed the soda stream section. And it looks like they've got some better choices now for, you know, the healthy sodas. So, I might give it a try again. However, it is expensive for me to go through those soda stream um, CO2 bottles. So, don't know. Luke says, does Twitch have profile pictures? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, actually, yes, it does. Sorry. In the chat, you don't really see it, but under other circumstances, like in the leaderboard, I can see that the, the bit leaders have pictures. And of course, when I look in the upper right corner for my own account, it has a profile picture there, too. It's just not in the chat, so it takes up a little less space. Ragnifighter says, my battery's dying soon. I'll see you around. Thanks for your opinion. No problem, Ragnifighter. Good to see you again. Bye, dude. 
And then it says, yes, they reduced the sugar in it in uh, Fanta. Orange. Yeah, that's what happens. You make it healthy, it changes the taste. And anytime you change the taste, fans of the original are not going to like it. Doesn't mean it's not a better choice, but yeah, you'll lose some of the market share. Boom! Yeah, your toast, pal. So after he lands from his jump, he can't move anymore. I didn't think about that. So what about you? Let's check the tactic game again. Defeat the mid-boss. Ooh, he's got a lot of health. A lot of range. Ooh. Bomb bludgeon. Only 50 damage, that's actually not that much. Immune to reaction shots while moving. Really? That is not ideal. Okay. So what can you get done, girl? Oh, he can't land in his head. Too bad. Fifty percent chance of hitting him. That's not ideal. Is there a tunnel up there? Yeah. So if I go here, I don't know if that's going to be close enough to get him. So I think we're going to leave Donkey Kong to it. Oh, even he can't. Well, he's going to do his best. He's going to pick this up. He's going to come up here. Chuck it at him. <laughs> Boom. I'm going to pick up those bananas. Wait, what else can Cranky do? Ah, the stink eye. That's the one. That's the one right there. Good. Yes, we're slaying these guys right now. And last but not least, Rabid Peach. Well, we'll let it go, but I don't know that it's going to get to him at any point here. But it's there. Just in case. Am I going to need this? I don't think so. What did it happen? Steve Austin's back. Welcome back, Steve Austin. Oh, he's hosting me. Thank you. Jay yeah, says they used real sugar in cola. They used to use real sugar in cola. Now it's high fructose corn syrup because it was cheaper. Yeah, and now there's uh, they, there's that like resurgence of like, oh, now it has real sugar. It's like, okay, why didn't it before? Jay says I meant cola in general. Oh, co uh, there's a misunderstanding about Coca-Cola. Sure. Steve says five J. Do you play any other games? Other than this one, it was the last time you were here when I played this game? Because if you're looking at my channel, you should see that I've played like a dozen different games in the last 12 days. So, yes, I play lots of other games. One sec. <coughs> Whew. I had to sneeze there. Excuse me. Oh, man. Cranky needs more movement space. He always is one short of what I need. Alright, Crankster. I thought they fell down there. So if I go on this, where does that take me? Ooh. Kind of everywhere. 
I can traverse this entire map. Donkey Kong. You are the man. Okay, so maybe... I'll first... Take care of this guy. See, now that bomb thing actually would have come in handy. Now I only got a 50% chance of hitting this guy. And we got him. Thank goodness. You, Cranky. You got nothing going on, pal. Ugh, it's an even worse option. Did it get me behind that block, though? Yeah, I guess I'll take it. I don't like it, but I'll take it. Yeah, again, I don't think he's really useful right now. I'll pick this up. Can I hit him from here? Yeah, but he's got a shield. So let's do something else. Let's hit this guy. Oh! Okay, only 20 damage. Thankfully, that's basically nothing. I almost didn't even get damaged by that standard. I pound oh, I can't do the ground pound. I must have already done that. Okay. Yeah, let's hit both of these guys. <laughs> Whoa! Dude, you hit him and he just goes nuts. Well, I have no idea where he's going to end up then. I'm going to turn on that stink eye just in case. Yeah, let's just do it. Luke says, bye, Jay. Have a good one. Are you taking off, man? Good to see you. Catch you next time. Steve says, it says I'm the only person watching this on Mixer. Yeah, Mixer's not real popular for me, but I choose to stream there anyway. Marker says, blood is red. Goku from Dragon Ball's hair is blue. Well, sometimes. I can't beat anything unless it's Pokemon Gen 4 Plus. That's your poem? That's... Not good. There wasn't even a rhyme at the end there. <laughs> J.E. says, does your wife like to shop at Aldi's 5J? I know my mother does, except it's right around the corner from Papa Murphy's, and she goes there to buy the pizza. Well, what else would you go to Papa Murphy's for? Um, we've never actually been to Aldi. We like to go to Hy-Vee. We like Hy-Vee a lot. A lot, a lot. So that guy get taken out? I think he did. The little zoomer, hoppy, gloober gloob. I think he did. So let's have Donkey Kong do his thing. He flies around the map. I think you gotta go this way. To go where you wanna go. Which is here. <gasps> Pick it up. Chuck it. And Bam says, I don't like cola in general either. Really? Oh, I love cola. Cola's very good. So unique. So, if I draw him in, what's my radius on this? I don't know if I can get him into range. Meanwhile, is he in range from somebody else? Very potentially. Ooh, yeah. 100% chance of hitting him. But because he likes to scamper after you shoot at him. Let's do this instead. You've been frozen. So who's going to hurt him the most? 
I'm gonna do what? 50 to 60. You're gonna do maybe up to 65 if I can get him into range. And you're only gonna do 30 to 40. So I think the answer is cranky. And there he goes. Maybe I should have put him to sleep so he wouldn't be so slippery. Yeah, I can't do anything now. Okay. He is a slippery little bugger. Boy, can he just go anywhere with that? That's quite a range he's got. He's spawning in more dudes. Parker says, lol, my poem is so bad I'm laughing so hard right now. Really, you're laughing at that. <laughs> Steve Austin has never tried Coca-Cola. Huh. Well, you should try it. Pepsi person or just not a soda person? J.E. says, all these is great, but they make you pay for your own bags. So it's cheaper to bring your own bags, especially if you already bought some reusable bags from Aldi's or Sam's Club. Or Ikea, those big Ikea bags. Those are sweet. Definitely want those. I'll go here. Chuck it here. Maybe it'll bounce him off the map and give extra damage. He's gonna do 30 for the attack. And then what? Yes! Another 30 for going out of bounds. Excellent. That was perfect. Well, we're gonna try the magnet groove. And if it doesn't really help, then it is what it is. Couldn't be any closer than that. I cannot hit him with that, but I think I can hit him with this now. That means he's gonna run away, but he might run closer towards my other fellows now. A little bit. Not a lot. A little bit. He dropped some bananas. There they are. You gotta pick it up with the Beepo thing. Oh, I can't quite reach him with... Ooh, 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 yes. Do that again, please. Oh, he's almost dead. Dude, we got this guy. He's frozen. He's right there. Oh, man. I'm gonna put him to sleep. And now he can't move. And we're gonna leave it at that. Because nobody else can shoot, can they? No, they can. What was I thinking? Well, it's not gonna matter. He's toast. So what does the Hail Mary do besides damage everyone? Okay, that one's not going to hit Princess Peach. Or Peach, rabbit, rather. Rabbit Peach. Oh, he scurried. I shouldn't have moved with Peach. If I'd left her where she was, it would have been okay. Rats. Well, I'm going to have her heal everyone. Oh, I could have... Could have done it but I messed it up. He's got one health. Unbelievable. Where's he gonna go? Nowhere. Yeah, put up your shield. Doesn't matter. Your boss is going down, pal. Steve Austin says, I drink soda. I just never tried it. Hmm. Well, you should then.
Let's see if we can finish it right here and now. Yes, yes we can. Rabbit Peach with the exploding hammerhead, destroying the hammerhead enemy. Boom. Perfect. How did we do, turns-wise? We'll see. I felt like it was fairly efficient, considering how slippery that guy is. Yes, five turns out of eight. So I did a great job. Thank you. I knew I wasn't terrible at this game. New weapons available. Sweet. That's what I like to see. Progress is saved. Okay, guys. I gotta take off, don't I? Why does it say I've only been streaming for an hour? Didn't I start the stream at 1? No, I started at 1.30. I have more time. How did I think it was at 1? I don't know. Then I don't have to take off. Disregard me, please. Uh, Parker says, Incineroar is red. Squirtle is blue. I'm sick, but I have determination. Sorry, I don't have an end rhyme. These are the worst. Seriously, they're so bad. Now the man says, Incineroar is red, Squirtle is blue, Eevee is the color of poo. <laughs> See? That's how you should have ended it. Perfect. That's, a, that's an amazing poem. That should go in a museum. Yes, a museum. Because that makes the most sense. It really does. Mineral water, by the way. Okay. Zoop, zoop. Those sound effects. So classically cartoon. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm not actually taking off. I was all, like, ready to go. But no, I forgot what time I actually started. It is hot in here, though. I'm gonna turn this fan on. Still need one more key. All right. Stop being selfie-ish. Oh, that's so bad. That's the worst fun. Hit him, please. Yeah, not quite. I was hoping he'd hit him with the stick for that. Oh, he is not happy that we're coming to get him. Is this a love thing or does he hate her? Oh, it's a love thing. <laughs> Love's in the air every time you look around. Wasn't that funny? Steve Austin says, how come the DLC has two new characters and not three to replace Peach? Um, maybe they think that Peach is everyone's favorite. Rabid Peach. Maybe they personally just really love all the selfie jokes. I don't know. But that's a good point. Where's Rabid Diddy or Rabid Dixie? If we're going to talk about replacing one female, questionably female, not really sure. The Rabid that's supposedly Peach may not be. Anyway, if we're talking about one female character for the other, why not a rabid Dixie? That would make a lot of sense. Get some new um, mechanics with her feather on her hat that she twirls around. Maybe when she jumps off a character, she's got a lot of mobility of how far she can fly. See? Oh, man, that was a great idea. See, Steve? You and I were on this. I don't know why they didn't do that. These fountains are exa the exact likeness of Buani Hani, Buana Hanini, spitting goatfish. At the end of their turn, they spit water. Rude! So they change directions at all? Hmm. 
Battle HQ. Let's see if we got some money to spend on new weapons. Yeah. Lots. Seriously, though. Like, lots. Wow. What do we have currently? Hit damage, bounce, short range, use a longer range. Bounce chance is higher, bounce damage is higher, everything's higher, like, that seems to be a no-brainer. This is one that I unlocked by finding it, but it doesn't seem like it's the best one out there. At all. Man. They're, uh, they're driving a hard bargain here. There's a lot of good good weapons to have. Oops, go back. What's his other secondaries? I feel like I don't ever use his secondary, so I don't think I'm going to invest in this. So, yeah, let's go with this secondary. Damage bonus to Smashers, that's perfect. We're facing some Smashers now. Let's go back. And his primary. Bounce damage. Burn. So these two are the same, but this one's clearly better. That's the one. We'll throw a Koi. It's called Koi Ploy. That's amazing. We currently have Honey. The bonus damage to Smashers. Ooh, you could get a push. It's kind of fun. It's better push or Honey. I think I'm going to go Honey. Megalodon 2 payback. <laughs> That's great. What does this one have honey damage? Mm, yep. Yeah. Nope, we're gonna go with this one. No, what? I thought I had loads of bananas. I ran out. Sad. Okay. Uh, skill tree. Let's buy some skills. Chelsea's here. What's up, Chelsea? Steve said Candy Kong. Uh, has Candy Kong ever been playable? That would be interesting. But I think Dixie is the, the clearer choice. J.E. says, I'm going to go listen to some copyrighted music on YouTube. <laughs> okay. I'm in a musical mood, but I can't sing very well. So I've got to go listen to people who can sing. Well, have fun. See you, dude. Chelsea says, I haven't got notification in two days because of YouTube. Really? That's not cool. I hope that gets fixed, because I have noticed my views have kind of dipped a little bit. And that might have something to do with it. Hmm. This is the last stream of the day here, Madden Bam. Parker says, anger is red, sadness is blue. I'm in the middle of the two. Hey, there you go. You're neutral. Steve says, uh, do it, you might need Cranky's secondary removed by Catbot. Why was that removed by Catbot? He used a GIF. Thanks, dude. A couple of them. Oh, sweet. Why are those not showing up in my restream chat? It only shows... Huh. Well, sorry, Steve. Thank you so much for the, the GIF there. And, uh, looks like... Is it a cat and, like, a robot and a mech? Thanks, dude. I don't know what those do. That gives me more of my ranking, right? The sparks. Sweet. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Chelsea says, yeah, I didn't know you were alive until I went on Twitter. Huh. That stinks. Well, at least you're here. I got another 13 minutes. All right, Donkey Kong. We did the ear uprooter. That was great. Enemy throw damage. That's useful. Three for that, though. Yeah, that is really useful. Uh, 
Ooh, the attack range. That's kind of useful. I could do two extra spaces. That's a lot. So those are already active. Hmm, I'm kind of thinking about this one. It's boring, but it's really useful. Next time, maybe we'll do the throw damage. Okay, and then Rabid Peach. The dash damage has been maxed out. She's already got two of those. Cleansing Jump might be kind of nice. Again, similar situation, that might be kind of nice. Cleansing jump, and what was I thinking of? The range again. Let's do the range. We could do cleansing jump, or we could do the heal range. Or some other things, but... Movement range is pretty nice. Eh, it's boring, but let's do it. Same thing for Cranky, probably. But he could use some more of that, too. No, do the smart thing. He needs more range. He's got to be able to run around. So boring, but useful. Okay. Steve says, no problem. I like using sparks. Oh, and he sends me a lot more. <laughs> Another gif. Looks like a cat inside of a sandwich. Some stars. More of the cat mech pizza. Some sort of flying robot. Thanks, man. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't use Mixer enough, so I wasn't familiar with how that stuff works. You said that eventually it can be used kind of like money if I was partnered, right? So my guess is that it kind of works like um, bits with uh, Twitch. If I hit him, how far is this guy going to come? Right where we want him to be, directly in front of this thing. Okay, perfect. That's what I thought. Let's give him a shot. Could get honeyed though. He didn't. So we're gonna leave that guy where he is. Cause that's gonna be funny. Does he move if I do the slide into him thing? I don't think he's gonna. And just in case, we'll do this. Man, she does a lot of damage with those slides. Donkey Kong. What you up to, brother? Okay, that'll work. Bada bing! You know, I'm kind of nervous because I don't exactly know how those fountains work just yet, so I think I am going to ground pound this guy. Just to make sure he is toast. And he is toast. Nice. Yes, turn on Harry Eye. Worst name for a move. Parker says, Jay, you never really told me the difference between Final Fantasy 3 and 6. Um, that depends what you mean by a difference. So, in America and in Japan, Final Fantasy 3 in America is Final Fantasy 6 in Japan. It's the same game. If you're talking about the actual Final Fantasy 3 from Japan and the Final Fantasy 6 from Japan, then 3 and 6 are very different games. They don't have the active battle system yet. Uh, obviously, it's not 16-bit. It's only 8-bit. Um, that Final Fantasy 3, um, hang on. 
Uh, the storytelling is different. It's a little more like the original, you know, it's a little more bland. The, they hadn't ramped up their storytelling style yet, not until the next one. So they're very different games, but if you play Final Fantasy III on the DS, and I think it's also on iPhone and possibly Android as well, then that's a really good version of the original Final Fantasy III from Japan. Give that one a shot. Steve says, when you get partnered, I give you all my sparks. Thanks, Steve. I don't know if I'll ever actually get partnered at, at Mixer, but if I did, and you did, then I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for your support, man. I can hear my dog barking downstairs, playing with the puppy. Okay, so, if I go here, yes, I can just barely get this guy. Bob blam He's frozen. And you can take him out. Perfect. And we'll turn on Stink Eye just in case. Might actually make it easier for that big guy to get me, but we'll see. They do rotate. Okay, so the statues go and then the enemies. That's what I thought. And he's still gonna hit you. Oh, except Donkey Kong intervenes. Bounce. Yes, with the bounce damage. And he's out of bounds. And he's over on the edge of the map, or he's dead. It was enough to kill him. Yes. Wow, that worked out so well. They're trying their best. They can't beat us. Doing little bits of damage here and there. Okay. Those look like the big guys. Yeah, the smashers. Defeat eight enemies. That's kind of a lot. We've already done two? Two big ones, at least. But I think only two. sure exactly what approach I want to take here. Pick him up. Guess I would throw him here. Okay, so I can't use my specials, that's okay. I just used that. That's not ideal. Oh, thank goodness he's got better movement now. I'm gonna hurt Donkey Kong if I do that. So where's the farthest he can go? If she is about here... Looks like there's nothing else clever she can do. She's about here. I think that'll be a good spot. Okay, no, this will be good. He'll come this way. Let me go back to Donkey Kong, and he can hit both of them. Boom! Excellent weapon. Oh, he can actually attack from there. That's too bad. Well, he's got a lot of health, so I think he's going to be okay. Can she heal him from there? Not quite. But I think we're going to be all right, because we still got this. we got to be in just the right spot. Yes, that's perfect. Donkey Kong's gonna take a hit for this. Unless we put him to sleep. There. Problem solved. He 
Yeah, put that shield on. She's kind of vulnerable there, I think. Now the man says, I have 75 hours in Smash Ultimate. Nice, dude. Parker says, how did you get that many hours? Well, I'm going to give you a secret. You just continue to play the game and the hours just happen. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I'm not even going to hit Donkey Kong with this. Oh, well then we're fine. Why did I put him to sleep for? What a waste. Who got pushed? Oh, Cranky got pushed. I totally didn't notice where I had put him. Oops. <gasps> oh no. Thankfully she's got that shield going. Ouch. One of those guys, Ziggies. They don't do a whole lot. Steve says, talk about Team Kong. Yeah, they were really messing people up. Matt Bam says, 33 hours in World of Light doing Casio mode? I'm not sure what that is. With every character. Oh, classic, probably. With every character and playing online. Sure. Parker has 50 hours. Oh, then how can you not believe 75? You already have 50. It's been out for a month. You could have hundreds of hours in it by now. Possibly. Let's try this. In here. In here. I think it only does 20. Tacticam. So there's that guy. And this guy, ooh, okay. Starting to get more interesting now that I think about it. If I jump off of her, I can probably get both of these guys. Hopefully that exploding thing doesn't hurt. Yes, it didn't. Perfect. That'll take care of him. Nice. Now I see why the thing is useful. You don't have line of sight. Then you can use that. Those over cover. Well done. Go through here. And let's see. Did we go for the big guy or the little guy? The little guy is the easy one. You know take down the little one. Yeah, super easy. We've taken down like five or six guys already? So we're in a good spot. This thing is picking people up, right? So why don't I do this? Boom! And then, I think, the magnet groove these guys over to me. And that guy's hiding like, oh, I'm gonna be safe here. Yep, you sure are. Don't worry about it one bit. Two for one! Yeah, Donkey Kong! That's all she wrote, right there. Cowards, see how they run? That's right. That is a fearsome team right there. Very fearsome. Steve Austin says, I have 70 hours on Smash. Can I add you on Switch? Yes, absolutely. I am at time now, this time for real, so I'll go show you my friend uh, code quick, and then I'm going to get out of here. Progress saved. Nice. All right, so. There you go. There's my friend code. Screenshot it. Add me quick. Whatever you got to do. Write it down. Put it on your phone. So there it is. 
Looks like there's not any other chats here, so I'm going to sign off here pretty quick, so you better get that written down pretty quick here. All right, guys, uh, so thanks so much for watching. I see that Steve sent some more of those sparks, by the way. More flying stars, more flying robots, and a hype sandwich. Nice. That's awesome, man. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody, and I will see you during the week. Uh, I've decided that um, I've, I've gotten so many donations from people as far as games that uh, during February, I'm going to do like a fan game February. So I'll be streaming lots and lots of the games that people have donated to me and uh, also lots of games that I can play with the fans. So thanks so much for coming, guys, and uh, look forward to more streams during the week. Keep your alerts on, and I'll see you later. Bye.